Seems like the user should not be hard coded. So user should probably come from state. Which component do we want that to be in? Let's look at kind of what this is going to look like eventually. So where all do we use the, the current logged in user? We use it all the way over in the sidebar, right? And we need it inside each message. So where should it go? It needs to be at least as high up as main, doesn't it? Yeah, at least as high up as main. Let's see. One of these days, we're going to have a sign-in page. And it's going to decide whether to even show main to us based on whether we're logged in. That could probably, uh, it kind of seems like maybe it needs to be all the way up at app. Because I'm going to actually have a separate component called sign-in and then the component called main. But app needs to know whether we're signed in or not. So probably we'll put it all the way up there. And that means we're going to have to pass it down as a prop a lot. But oh well. So app is already a class, so that's fine. We can just do state equals instead of making a constructor if we want. Using the new property initializer, which is not yet quite standard, but it is far along in the standards track, so um, the API for it is unlikely to change at this point. So I've updated my warning for that every year as we've, we've taught this class. It was around last year, but it was still in kind of a, a riskier state, pardon the expression. So state equals, how about user? User's probably going to have some sort of UID. And it's probably going to have a username. Now, we don't have any way to sign in or out yet. So we could still hard code it here. And then all those other components could use it, could do the same thing they're going to do when we do it for real. So this will have to change an app eventually. But as long as we put the user in here, all our other components are going to get it through props. And it doesn't matter to it exactly how it got into state. Um, it doesn't matter how inside chat component, where that user ultimately comes from. It just matters that it gets it as a prop. So even if we hard code something in here, it's a step in the right direction. So UID, I don't know, make something up. Username. How about Maggie? So that is now in state of app. We know we're going to need it inside main because we're going to need it inside chat and we're going to need it inside everywhere. So, okay. Main user equals this dot state dot user. So inside main, we'll get that as a prop. Main is already a class. So in the finished product, we want to actually show the logged in user in the sidebar. So it needs to make it into the sidebar. So inside main, sidebar should probably receive user as a prop. And we'll set that to what? Someone other than Bill, Aaron, or the first row. Some, okay, Jake, what's up? This dot props dot user. Gosh darn right. It is not this dot state dot user anymore. It is now this dot props dot user.
So inside sidebar, which is a class and probably doesn't need to be, we could turn it into a stateless functional component real quick. It's good practice. Why not? So instead of class, const, don't need to import component anymore. Get rid of extends component and instead put an arrow function. Don't need a render method, just need to return. And just like that, we've gone from class to function. But now sidebar is receiving some props, isn't it? So we just put props in the argument list. And all we have here is sidebar. Ultimately, we want a whole bunch of stuff. But at the top, we at least want to say who we're signed in as. So how about we just put props, excuse me, need to put that in curly braces, right? Yeah. Props dot user dot username. Just to prove this is all working. Cannot read property username of undefined. Darn. Props dot user. Not a thing. But main is passing down a prop called user. Users. It's got passing in a prop called user, but the value is prop this dot props dot users, which is not a thing. But that wasn't an error until the sidebar, because only in the sidebar were we actually doing something with that. So it was perfectly happy to take an object that was already defined and pass in a non-existent property. So it would just pass in undefined. But as soon as I tried to put dot after that undefined, then it broke. So there we go. Maggie. Which is a little too close to MAGA, so let's just type it out right. Maggie. There we go. Okay. So now when we add a new message, we don't want to hard code Ferris. We want to use the user who's actually logged in. Even though we're only fake logging in, it's something. So um, where's all that happen? That happens in chat, right? So chat needs to have access to the user. So in main, our chat component now needs a prop. How about this dot props dot user again? And inside chat, when I add a new message, instead of saying username Ferris, um, heck, instead of username, should we actually pass in the user? Eh. I'll do username. Why not? So that should be what? Someone other than the usual suspects. Hunter, what do you say? This dot props dot user gets me that whole user object. What if I just want the username? Let's see, what is this dot props dot user? Had I already saved it? Uh, probably not. So let's look at main. I know I've saved it in main. So main props user is this whole object. So how do I get just the username? Whole thing? What? Whole thing? What do I put here? Username. Dot username, right? Yeah. This dot props dot user dot username. So user's still there. This dot props dot user dot username. Will that do it? What do you say, Maggie? Good. No, I think good is probably the easiest. Oh, I'm sorry. Sure. And we don't punctuate. Was good. There we go. Yeah, it totally works. Now we're getting that username out of the state of app. It's still hard-coded, but that's okay. We can deal with that separately. 
we've now got this part working probably the way we want it to work. What do you think? I like it. Store user in app component state. 